And hello everybody, Kryptonites here with another tutorial video with Apex Trader.11, which when 1.0 comes out, it will still apply. Um, I do know they're going to be adding um, a couple of minor things, but um, it will still be relevant. That's why I'm doing these videos now. So those of you who are new to my channel, welcome my new subscribers. Thank you and a welcome as well. Uh, if you do like my videos, please make sure you give it a thumbs up and don't forget to hit, to hit that subscribe button and ring that bell and I'll make sure to ring yours every time I drop a new video. Uh, just a reminder, I am not your financial advisor. I'm not here to give you financial advice, tell you how to spend your money or where to put it. Uh, when I do um, go over uh, small technical analysis is mainly my own opinions, my thoughts, how I'm playing the market, and uh, what my strategies are. And then, you know, you can go from there using, uh, you know, other sources. Make sure you're learning to do your own technical analysis and making your own decisions from there. So, uh, with that said, uh, the first video we went over just how to get you going. Um, you know, it's a 20 minute video just to get you started in trading. Uh, the last video was mainly about triggers and how to set them up. And today we're going to talk about uh, a really nice feature with Apex Trader and it's uh, called Auto DCA. Uh, so to set it up, uh, first you're going to go into Auto DCA and you're going to pick a strategy. Now you can make your own strategy are use one obviously from the strat center uh, with uh, you know different indicators to buy in now if you don't know what an auto DCA is uh, basically what it does is so for example um, if I hit uh, with my strategy negative one percent then once the indicators for my strategy kick in it'll go ahead and buy at a multiplier of one so if I have 0 0.002 invested in, in said coin then it will buy another 0 0.002 making my total of 0 0.004 uh, but we'll go into the math in, in just a little bit so you want to pick your strategy uh, you know, you can put in a cooldown. Um, I don't have one. I don't use the cooldown for uh, auto DCA. Just mainly along the lines that um, you know, sometimes these coins can drop really fast. And with more of an aggressive strategy that I'm using, I want to keep it under a negative one percent and catch that swing up and then sell as quickly as possible. It's the whole idea behind it. Uh, you can set different levels. I currently have four levels of DCA and then you know if you want to so if you're starting out you just click add level and boom there you go so but we'll go back to this screen in just a minute the other thing too is you have to set it up in your trigger so in your default state uh, now I know right now you guys can see I'm not buying a reason why I'm not buying is uh, even though we are seeing some pops and we just got through a rally, uh, I'm under the, the, you know, my strategy is with Bitcoin declining and my feeling that we're going to see 3,200 again uh, within the next couple weeks to a month. Uh, so I don't get caught out there and I'm not taking any losses or tying up coins. Uh, I do have buying disabled. Once I see uh, another equilibrium or if we go into another rally, I'll go ahead and hit buy enable. But for the moment, um, then we're just going to talk about DCA here. So you want to make sure that uh, your auto DCA is enabled. So it will buy with your trigger. Um, and then if you have any other triggers, uh, you know, so with my panic cell, obviously I'm not going to have an auto DCA enabled uh, with my buy stop um, I don't have it either again you know with this trigger it's just designed that when Bitcoin moves up or down in a certain percentage it's going to turn off the buys until Bitcoin comes back down and then you know goes back to the default state so you want to make sure that in your triggers depending on how what types of triggers you're using what your strategy is uh, that at minimum on the default your auto DCA is enabled and 
you know, if you have any certain triggers, you can also enable your auto DCA in there as well. The last thing you want to do is make sure that in your settings screen under general, uh, you have a reserve allocation for uh, your auto DCA. If you don't have anything in there, it's not going to buy. So this is where your math comes in. You have to figure out uh, you know how many levels of auto DCA you're going to use and make sure that's set aside so again to make math simple uh, you know let's say you have uh, 0.1 of Bitcoin and your L so your minimum buy let's say is 0 0.002 so for example, with my strategy, I have four levels, so I want to make sure I have enough to buy in. So let's say you go with just five positions. So you have to set everything up. You have to do the math. So uh, you want to set your maximum number of positions to, let's say, five. So that way, uh, you know, you know you're getting a rotation. If you have this set at whatever the max allocation you have you're going to lose out and you're not going to be able to fully take advantage of your auto dca so you, you know so set in whatever you know so if you're doing point zero zero two with the math you want five positions and then uh you know so you'd want to set this up so you really only would need uh point zero one BTC free, so then you would set your reserve allocation to 0 .009 uh, to have that available for your auto DCA, and then make sure you hit save, and then you can go back to auto DCA. So again, you have to think about the math and how much you want to do this. There's multiple ways you can do this. You don't. It doesn't have to be a full number. If you wanted to, you could punch in 0.25 on your first threshold, so you would only buy one fourth of your actual position. Now, keep in mind, um, there is a minimum buy uh, for like Bitcoin and things like that, um, so you have to keep things, you know, keep those in mind. Now, the way I have mine set up. You know, again, and mine's aggressive strategy, and my auto, auto DCA is aggressive as well. But you want to keep in mind of the math. So, for example, I hit my first threshold. It's going to, you know, if I have 0 0.002 invested in Bitcoin, it's now going to be 0 0.004. So when it hits level two, it's going to buy 0 0.004 worth of that coin of Bitcoin, uh, worth of Bitcoin. So on each multiplier it's going to you have to add that in so this is going to be you know you might need to you know figure out the math on, on a piece of paper or use a calculator or whatever but each level it's going to buy what the previous levels have so on this one if I'm at 0 .004 so after this buys on a level 2 it's going to be 0 .008 so then this is going to be a 0 .016 and then finally, on the last multiplier, it needs at least 0 0.032 worth of Bitcoin. Simple math right there, but if you're, you know, uh, doing partial buys or you're going for, you know, double or triple, you got to keep these things in mind with your layer. The deeper the layer, the more you have to have free available to a, a Bitcoin or USDT or whatever base pair you're using to be able to buy in otherwise you will get an error saying it can't purchase it uh, so that's why that's where ensuring you have the proper allocation set aside uh, fits in and you have to figure out how many big how many positions you can have open at once to ensure that your auto DCA kicks in and the reason why auto DCA is important is when you go negative and you buy back in you know depending on uh what your strategy is what indicators you're using it's designed so you can catch it back up on the rise and then not take the loss and 
uh, we'll see if my performance is still up. So, aside from what four four negatives, and these are me selling um, to catch uh, drops in Bitcoin. So I went ahead and took the losses instead, but I gained and selling out into USDT, but I gained back positions or more uh, with that drop and then buying back in. But overall, as you can see. Um, since I started using the ACDCA, uh, I haven't taken a loss on most days unless I've chosen to do that myself. And yes, there will be times when you're just stuck in a position. That's happened to me a few times, and you know I've decided to sell out of it. Um, so, like for example, here um, I had been stuck in a position for some time. I decided to sell out of it, but I still came through with a profit. Uh, I think that was the only time I did that. So the other times I just let it do its thing. Um, so yeah, you have to, it's gonna be a math issue with auto DCA because you have to figure out how much Bitcoin or base pair you have, how many positions you can open, how many levels of auto DCA you're gonna use. And then you wanna make sure you can fill all those orders if there's a drop. And that's, I mean, it, it's, it sounds simple, um, and it is in a way, but it does require, you know, uh, a strategy on how you're going to use it to ensure you don't take those losses, or you, even if there is a sudden drop, you can go through and, you know, recover from those sudden drops. So that's pretty much it on all of DCA. That's just how you set it up. You know, you want to pick your strategy. If you want to cool down, enter in that cool down. Figure out how many levels you want to go. Now you don't have to. You know, mine's all set at one percent. Again, it's it's an aggressive strategy. It and this has been working for me because of my strategy. Now different strategies are going to require different thresholds. You know, this might not work for whatever it is that you're using. Um, you know, so feel free to ask around in Discord. Uh, you know, on what people or other people are doing that's been successful for them for my strategy this has been extremely successful uh you know for example there's been a few times when you know when i had it up and running where you know i dropped four percent in a matter of minutes and all four levels of dca turned around kicked in and a half hour later boom i've sold my position uh you know so you have to understand the strategy that you're using or go to the creator, see if they've created an auto DCA strategy and what they say, you know, what they've tested, what works with them or with that strap. Um, you know, make sure that your triggers are, it's the cats having a fight. Make sure your triggers are set with auto DCA and then also make sure you have a reserve allocation involved as well. So you know, you have that free, um, you have that available uh, funds to use. So with that said, um, I hope that this at least helped you with getting your auto DCA set up. I am gonna do one more tutorial video based upon how to navigate the UI on the main screen. And Sorry, I'm just having a cat fight over there. But how to use the, uh, the UI on the main screen, there's different options you can do. And then that'll wrap up the tutorials. Uh, if you are just tuning in for the first time and you wanna try Apex Trader, there's a link down below you can use to uh, hit the uh, seven day free trial. There's, you know, you get the full use of the bot. There's no, you know, uh, limits to it or anything like that. Um, and after the seven days, you can sign up. It's $35 a month right now, but keep in mind after version 1.0 drops, uh, it is going to go up to $50. So if you sign up now, um, and you get that reoccurring payment going, uh, then you'll be good. And you can keep that $35 for as long as your bot subscription does not run out. If it does run out, then, you, then it goes to $50 a month. So with that said, I hope everyone has had uh, lucrative trading this week. Please just, you know, watch the, uh, watch the TA. Uh, 
you know, I'm playing Bitcoin in a bearish mode. I'm expecting it to continue to go down. That's why I am not really doing a lot of trading right now. I'm kind of trading more on uh, gaining more positions and in Bitcoin. Uh, so if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. Feel free to leave any questions or comments down below. And don't forget to hit that subscribe button and ring that bell to notify you when I do drop new videos. And I hope everyone uh, has a good new year. I will drop a couple more videos before the new year, but you no, know, uh, just saying it. And we'll see you guys soon. Kryptonite's out.